Unit 7. 발음 및 강세 지도. 1. 발음. How do you read this word? Can anybody pronounce it? It's tricky. Yeah, you're right. Listen to how I pronounce it. Watch my lips carefully. Now it's your turn. 발음 향상 방법 Listen to the correct pronunciation. Practice reading with a loud voice. Record your pronunciation. Practice the pronunciation looking in the mirror. Look into the mirror and have a close look at your lips. You have to pronounce clearly so that others can understand you. Listen carefully to your pronunciation. Now listen to the native English speaker's pronunciation. Compare your pronunciation with that of the native English speaker. Listen carefully to the native English speaker's pronunciation and repeat after it continuously. Keep practicing. With lots of practice, you will begin to sound like a native speaker of English. Repeating simultaneously after the CD is called shadowing. Shadowing is very good for improving your pronunciation. Though it's difficult to pronounce, you can become perfect if you keep practicing. 발음 수업 How do you say this? How do you read this word? Would you like to pronounce this word? Listen to me saying it. Listen to the way I say it. Listen carefully, paying attention to the pronunciation. Close your eyes and listen to the sound. Listen carefully and then you try. Your pronunciation is really good. You sound like a native English speaker. It wasn't pronounced correctly. There is a mistake in the pronunciation. Watch your pronunciation. 구체적인 발음 연습 We're going to learn to pronounce thanks. Would you like to pronounce it first? I'll say this word first. Listen to how I pronounce it. I want you to say it after me. Everybody all together, thanks. Now shall we listen to the native English teacher pronounce it? How did he pronounce it? Do you notice the difference between your pronunciation and Joe's? This word is pronounced as says. Don't pronounce B here. The B in climb is not pronounced. See how these two sounds link together. Pay attention to the linking sound and pronounce it naturally. The first sound is th, as in thing. Be careful with the sh sound. Unlike Americans, British people don't pronounce er sound here. So be careful. Put your hand on your neck. Can you feel the vibration? 비슷한 발음의 비교 The er sound and ul sound are very different. Let's practice hearing er sounds and ul sounds. First, just listen as I read some words that begin with L. Now listen as I read the words that begin with R. Raise your right hand if you hear the ul sound and your left hand if you hear the er sound. Notice the difference between words that begin with L and with R. Let's compare the E sound with the I sound. The first word in each pair has the E sound, and the second word has the I sound. You must be able to tell the difference between the SH sound and the S sound. In a F sound, air comes out through your lips, but in a B sound, Sound, no air comes out. 입 모양과 혀의 위치 Open your mouth wider. Have your mouth slightly open. Spread your lips slightly. Make your lips round. Stick out your tongue. Don't move your tongue. Place your tongue between your teeth. Watch my tongue. Look at my lips. Watch my lips very carefully. 
Copy my lips. Watch my mouth closely. See how my mouth hardly moves. Notice how my tongue touches my teeth. Pay attention to your mouth as you make the sounds. Face your partners and practice. E. Kangsemit Ogyang. This time, pay attention to the stress. Notice which word I say more loudly. This is your bag, not mine. Where does the stress fall? Your. Correct. Normally, if a word is important, you stress it. Kangse. How many syllables does this word have? A stress falls on a vowel. Where is the accent in this word? Where does the stress fall? Where do we put the stress? Where does the accent fall in this word? Listen to where the stress comes in this word. Can you hear the stress on the third syllable? Find the primary stress. Find the second stress. Where is the secondary stress? Stress it here. This word is accented on the second syllable. This word is important, so you must stress it. If it's not important, don't stress it. Mark the stress as you read. Listen carefully and put the stress on the words. Write down the word stress when you record new words. You have stressed this word incorrectly. You have to say this part louder. Say this syllable louder than the others. Pay attention to the stress and read it again. Exaggerate the stressed syllable until it becomes natural for you. Let's clap when you hear a stressed syllable. Clap the stressed words. Feel the rhythm as you clap. Ogyang. Listen to the way my voice goes up. Listen how the intonation goes up at the end of this sentence. Speak out, paying attention to the intonation. Listen carefully to the intonation of the native English speaker and try to copy it. It's okay to exaggerate when you practice the intonation. Indicate the intonation with your hands. Let me draw the intonation curves with my hand. The man raised his voice like this. Did you notice the voice going down? You need to raise the intonation. You must let your voice fall at the end of this sentence. In this case, your voice has to fall down at the end of the sentence. A tag question with a rising intonation is a real question. If your voice falls down in a tag question, it means that you want a confirmation. <laughs>